What's up guys, this is Troy from Sweet Reps with this cyber truck we're going to be doing in drive cloud PPF. Uh, we're going to be trying to get this done as quick as possible guys. We're going to have some rough weather coming in not too long from now. Uh, we don't want to have that hit us and have this vehicle for longer than what we're supposed to. Uh, from what I've seen, what I've researched, everything is pretty quick. All you need to do is take off the over fenders and the mirrors and everything is pretty much straightforward guys. There's nothing covering it. Uh, there's nothing in the way of what you're wrapping so we're going to try to get this done as quick as possible and as clean as possible and we'll go from there guys we'll show you the process on how, how to do that and uh, show you this new product that is actually scratch resistant the last 10 years and it's pretty uh, pretty great stuff guys and it's color changing too so uh, let me show you the process and how to do this, and let's get to wrapping, guys. Here we go, guys. We're going to start on the hood. Uh, I did measure 72 inches, so we're going to actually cut 74, uh, just so we could have enough to play with, guys. Uh, you don't want to cut short. You don't want to cut just enough, because if you need to bend it around the corner, or if you need to maneuver it a certain way, uh, you do want uh, extra material to pull against just so you can get that coverage um, let me cut this out we'll lay it on the piece and we'll get to wrapping so this comes in good handy to actually get one of these racks so you can actually measure these things on the wall so you can cut it all together um, what i'd like to do is just tape right here next to the, the actual rack and then just pull out as much as I need and we can measure it out from there uh, then we'll just get a marker mark it out and uh, yeah, from there guys make sure you got a steady hand that's 74 inches Cut only what we need and go from there. Just uh, first cut and drive fly PPF. Actually, do have to take off the protective liner once you got this peeled off, guys. You're gonna want to take off this protective liner and roll it up, just so it won't create any tunneling while it's sitting off to the side. So just keep it off the ground, guys, because once you put off that cap sheet, it's gonna create a whole bunch of static and. Uh, Whatever is in the area, dust, dirt, whatever, will stick to the actual material and be, make it a lot harder to keep it clean while I'm following the rest of it. So just like that guys, we 
you want to do is roll this up. We're going to save this for the bottom end right there. And hopefully the back end if we can. If not, we're going to have to put in a whole nother piece. Uh, but we do have 60 feet of material. And the side of this truck doesn't look too bad, guys. Uh, not going to lie, the only, the only big piece on this truck is the A-pillar or the header that connects the front fender to the quarter panel, which is the thing that runs on top of the doors and stuff. Well, that's going to be the longest part of this vehicle. Uh, we're going to try to get that all done in one piece, everything done in one piece, guys. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to see if we can use magnets. It doesn't seem like it. It's really weak hold. It does hold, but it's super weak. So tape is going to be your best friend on this vehicle for multiple magnets. Um, once you get this laid on the panel that you want and cut out, what you're going to want to do is blow off anything underneath it. This ensures that you don't have any uh, dirt or contamination on the bottom. So guys, what I'm going to do is fast forward the rest of this video. I kind of over explained a lot of the process that goes into this. Uh, what I like doing when I get a brand new vinyl that I haven't used before. I like cutting it down the middle, cutting the backing down the middle and working from the middle out as you can see here. This technique is very useful guys, especially for those more tacky vinyls. Uh, it ensures that you get everything laid down without any issues. Um, you can feel the tackiness and stuff by lifting and repositioning it as you go but uh it really does save you time and problems by doing it from the middle outwards like this or if you like guys you can research some tech reducers that could actually help you out with the repositioning of this vinyl with listening the tech what this actually looks like it took me 30 minutes to wrap the hood but look how much clarity that has guys my god that looks great it looks like paint that is mind-blowing uh, like I said I haven't wrapped this in anything else before um, this is pretty much my first vehicle in this material uh, the reason why I wanted to do that is because this is pretty much one of the easiest vehicles to ever wrap guys um, if you're having issues wrapping that cyber truck this might not be for you. So good thing about the Tesla truck is that it is stainless steel, which is pretty indestructible when it comes to stains and stuff like that. You could get it off, just need to clean it. The bad thing about stainless steel is that if you get rock chips, it will, I don't know if you could hear this, look watch, right here, I don't know if you can see that, that's a rock chip. But that right there, if you can hear it, that is a scratch in the stainless steel itself. So a lot of these little things, these little things where rocks hit or it'll scratch into the paint and it won't be able to be taken out. Um, only if you sand it or do some minor scratching to the surface because of stainless steel, you can't just fill that in or clay bar it out so stuff like that will show through the material when you uh, install it but it is going to be pretty much straightforward and flat uh, the only thing is that it might come it might show through the wrap uh, there is a lot of them 
in this one. As you can see, there's one right here, right here, right here. Uh, there's quite a bit. We're going to get this wiped down and uh, cleaned up. And let's see if we can make this look 100% brand new. All right, let's go. All right, guys, sorry about that. Uh, I am trying to rush this wrap just because, uh, as you can see, the weather is nice, but all this week is actually supposed to be raining and we're actually supposed to be hit by a pretty bad storm. So um, right now we're going to be doing the quarter panel. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, this vehicle is uh, stainless steel and the magnets barely stick to it. So what I like doing is I like using scraps for my old vinyls or anything you have up there, anything you have left over. Um, I make sure everything's covered, of course, and I put it to the tail light. And from there, I make sure it covers everything. I cut out the piece that's over the overfunders and I make sure it's covering its ends right here. So make sure it's covering about an inch or two past it. Um, from there, normal install, what we're gonna wanna do with this is we're gonna work it from the top down. Uh, this stuff is pretty tacky, guys, and it's not that repositionable. This is Flexi Shield. Um, this is uh, dry install PPF. You could wet install it, but it's dry applied PPF. Uh, it does have air channels in the back and it works pretty well. If you're fond of uh, installing Bino Frog or uh, Inositec, stuff like that, calendar films that have an aggressive tech, uh, you'll feel at home with this wrap. So it does stick a little bit more and it does discolor a little more, but for something like this, that is pretty much straight um you don't have to worry about that guys uh we did take off this uh side mirror and did both side mirrors actually i already got the other side done i'll show you that right now uh what you do is you open the door all the way and there's gonna be a rubber uh cover that goes here pretty much on the other side of the door you just peel that off from the front end of the vehicle you peel it off and there's three screws as you can see right here one there one there and one at the bottom um, after that there's gonna be a cover on the front end I'll show you that a little bit later uh, so I can connect it and that's what's gonna you're gonna disconnect so you won't have issues of the wire hanging up or anything uh, this as well we're gonna take off this or we already did what you want to do is you want to grab it from the bottom work your way uh, up and around they are just clips there is no screws holding it in uh, there is this one connection on the side camera uh, there's this little tab right here that you need to push in and it just clips off uh, other than that guys pretty straightforward uh, we're gonna tuck in around this and make sure everything is covered um, as you can see the front end is already done and pretty much all the side is already done except for the pillar that goes around the door I am waiting the for these the last because what we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting the foundation decal which is on the door somewhere Let me show you where is it foundation right here I don't know if you could see that I actually cleaned it and I actually cleaned it really good so uh, as you can see there's a foundation right here which is foundation series is the model of Tesla truck that this is um, pretty much has all the bells and whistles that you could get so um, we're gonna be ending up putting that underneath the wrap and embossing it so it could give another a better look so it could stand out um, there's only those two on the fenders and there's one at the very back of the truck on the tailgate which is right here you can see right there that's on the fenders as well and we're going to be putting that as well before we even wrap the whole thing so um we're holding off for that tailgate and the fenders and we'll be doing the rest of the vehicle uh i should be finishing up today hopefully i'm waiting to get my cutter in uh my other cutter broke so 
I'm waiting for that to come in. It says it should be delivered today. Um, but I'll set you up on a tripod about right here. So you can see me uh, install that uh, install that quarter panel. And then we'll move on to the doors. And we'll finish off by doing these, uh, these pillars right here on the side. We're going to turn the whole truck around and then do these because they extend all the way to the front. And it is kind of windy day. Um, what I've been doing is I've been cutting it at the edge, guys. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because this film doesn't like tucking around the edge. It's a, it was actually curling up when I was trying to post heat it. So um, let me get a close up. Oh, that's five. Uh, let me get a close up. As you can see right here, that's all the edge, guys. All you want to do is lay your blade at an angle and cut all along the edge. Uh, there's no make sure you have a very sharp blade guys because if you don't you will fold the vinyl or you will crumple it up uh, but as you can see it looks great it looks great everything's covered uh, you can't really tell that the edge is stainless steel um, that side looks just as good so let me finish up this side let me put you guys on a tripod let me finish it up and let me show you the end result uh, hopefully we could get the decals in today if not I'm going to reach out to somebody to make them for me because I don't want to have it longer for today than today because it's supposed to start raining tomorrow and I don't know how this stuff cures over time. Usually you have to keep vinyl in the sun for about two days before it sets. Uh, this is PPF. Like I said, it's usually two, three days for cure time. Um, so let me put you guys up on this tripod, guys. Let's finish this off and uh, we'll get going from there. Uh, we're actually waiting for the foundation decals to be made right now. One of my friends is making them because my decal machine just broke. 
uh, my mini split was on one day and it just started decided to start leaking and it leaked right onto the decal machine so unfortunately I don't have one I just ordered one it was supposed to be here today and they failed me but uh, it should be in soon and we'll get to making a whole bunch more decals guys uh, next time once this video is posted whenever you come by uh, for a free quote you'll get a free decal whatever color you want from any of my scraps um, just hit me up and get your appointment set up so you can come get a free estimate and uh, any decal you'd like uh, anything you can find off Google uh, something custom we could do it all for you thank you and let's get to wrapping the rest of the vehicle and this is the finished result guys very cool very clean and will stand out from the crowd wherever it goes I believe this is the first blue cyber truck in the world I don't know it was done June 17th so it was pretty early um, I believe it's the first bright blue cyber truck in the world and this material lasts for 10 years and it's scratch resistant guys so let's see how long this material lasts in the Texas Sun guys and we'll be back for a follow-up down the road but as far as that goes, everything's said and done with my embossed logo there in the back. Let me know what you guys would like to see next, and I'll see you next Sweet. time.